Tonight on Local 10, we take a closer look at a popular product derived from the cannabis plant found on store shelves throughout South Florida. And Local 10 investigator Amy Viteri tells us why federal agencies are concerned about Delta 8 and why kids could be at risk. You can find it in just about any smoke shop, gas station, and of course online, Delta 8 THC. You got gummies, rice It's crispies. sold in vape form, candy, even smokable versions. It's one of our biggest selling things, you know, so we sell a lot of Delta 8. Because it comes from hemp, the THC isomer is technically legal in most states, for now. In recent weeks, the FDA and CDC both issued warnings about Delta 8 products, citing serious health risks. According to the FDA, between January and July of this year, poison control centers got 661 exposure cases related to Delta-8. 18% of those required hospitalization. The CDC says 39% of exposures involved children under 18. At least two ended up in the ICU after ingesting a parent's Delta-8 gummies. It is intoxicating. Unlike CBD, Delta-8 has psychoactive effects. In other words, it can get you high. The concern, according to the CDC, is the chemical process is used to create higher concentrations of Delta-8 than those naturally found in the cannabis plant, which could create harmful byproducts like heavy metals and solvents. So it can go through a chemical reaction to convert from CBD into Delta-8. Dr. Denise Vidot, an epidemiologist at the University of Miami, says her biggest concern is the lack of oversight. So the issue is, depending on the manufacturer, how well are those solvents being removed? We are going out and as we're seeing Delta 8 products, uh, we are testing them and to make sure that they do in fact fall under the Delta 9 threshold. But unfortunately, most of the products that we are seeing on the shelves are in fact testing hot. And so we are trying to take them off the shelves. Agricultural Commissioner Nikki Freed says though Florida requires licensing and lab testing for any hemp products manufactured in the state, much of what's ending up in stores is bypassing the process. There's a lot of products that are coming in from over, from over whether it's outside of the state or even overseas. I want all the products that are sold here in the state of Florida to be manufactured and processed here. There is definitely a correct way and an incorrect way, not just to produce Delta 8 or their products, but in general, manufacturing as a whole. So we hold ourselves to that high standard. For companies like wholesale hemp suppliers based here in South Florida, doing things the right way is critical to surviving in an industry where the rules always seem to be shifting. A tour of their operation looks like a walk through Willy Wonka's factory. Their product line includes a wide range of Delta 8 products, but they're best known for their edibles. So on the more unique side, we have a Skittles flavored gummy, we have a pineapple upside down cake gummy, we have a smoothie gummy. So Owner Eli Elias says they inspect all raw materials to make sure what's going into their products and encourages consumers to check labels for third party test results. He says he would welcome certain regulations like stricter labeling requirements and childproof packaging. But there are companies out there and there are people out there who are pushing products who don't have these testings. So nobody knows what's in it. Nobody knows what's actually going on with it. This smoke shop worker telling us regulations could be beneficial to hold everyone to the same standard and ultimately make it safer for consumers. So it's really important for parents to be aware of the products that are out there, what their, where their kids are unfortunately having access to, and know that we are working on it. Amy Viteri, Local 10 News. Amy, thanks a lot. Commissioner Freed says that her department is also working on implementing an age requirement for Delta 8 products in order to restrict children from getting access to it.